welcome, welcome everybody. We're delighted to have you here this evening for three to four hours of discussions on inspired leadership. We have some absolutely phenomenal speakers here tonight. You're probably wondering what I'm up here for on stage with that kind of an introduction. You've no idea who I am. Uh, I'm Paul O'Mahony. I'll be talking a little bit more about myself a little bit later. But we have some absolutely amazing speakers from all over the globe here tonight. We're going to be kicking off by focusing on our home ground and some of the phenomenal leaders that have come from Ireland itself. And I think one person that we should acknowledge right from the start is the, I suppose, the person who had the brainchild for tonight and Pendulum Summit, former Munster and Ireland hooker, Frankie Sheehan, and I'd like him to kick off the night. And everybody, if you don't mind, giving Frankie a huge round of applause to get the night started. Thank you. Yeah, uh, great start. Um, thank you all, guys, for showing up. I know uh, to steal what Jory Duffy would say. I know uh, your time is very valuable, and we don't take it lightly that you are taking the time out to come along to this. Uh, you could be with families, you could be doing all sorts of other things, and we really appreciate that. Um, and what gets me really excited about evenings like this is all the people here are like-minded people. And we all have that appetite to constantly improve. And that's what makes it special, because you do have choices and you've chosen to be here tonight. I just came back from Omaha, where Warren Buffett was having his um, annual general meeting. Um, and I have to say, in front of 40,000 people, it was incredible. And here's a guy who started selling his first stock at nine years of age. And one of the things that I know our speakers are like this, and I know some of the great people in this room are very like this, is that appetite to just be as good as you can be and constantly soaking up information. And that was the one thing that struck me about Warren Buffett. At 85 years of age, he's constantly still learning. And that's the key, I think, for where we all are at the moment. John D. Martini, what a pleasure to get John D. Martini over here. The Secret, what a wonderful movie and book, very inspiring. But to be fair, I think it, does, it, it doesn't do John a justice. John is so much more than The Secret, and he's going to do something around leadership tonight, which I think is going to be really, really interesting. He has, apparently there's 280 areas of knowledge in the world, all the ologies, your Scientology, your Axiology, and he is a PhD level in each and every one of them. Uh, I was explaining this to somebody on the phone in the car and the, and the taxi driver was driving and he said, Frankie, by, in fairness to you, he said, you've one allergy that he doesn't have. And I said, what's that? Bollocks allergy, he said. Eh? <laughs> so even though John is probably better than me at that as well, you know. But um, So Paul uh, re referenced that we do have some great speakers from Front Row Speakers. Right? Front Row Speakers, just to give you a one line on it, we are now the fastest growing speakers bureau in Ireland and the UK. And we look after a lot of big corporates from anything from leadership training, management training, corporate hospitality. And I know a lot of you inside this room use us quite a bit, so thank you for that as well. Um, the speakers we have, Sonny O'Sullivan, one of my heroes. Uh, not just for the medal that Sonny won, the famous Olympic medal, but I think for her resilience and the way she came back after uh, you know, going through a couple of tough times. So looking forward to hearing from Sonia. Philip Matthews, another hero that I watched on the rugby field playing for Ireland and the Lions. And it wasn't until a few years ago that I had a newfound respect for Philip when I heard him speaking about leadership and the similarities between teamwork and business and teams. And, and Philip now is really a go-to man in that space and does a lot of work for us with some of the senior corporates around the place. Gary Keegan, of course, a lot of you would know. Um, Billy Walsh always tries to hog the glory around the Irish boxing team, but I can tell you that uh, Gary was, was, was the man. Gary was absolutely fantastic to put those infrastructures in place that created that Olympic boxing team that we have today. So looking forward to that. Uh, Pat Falvey, of course, as you know, uh, I asked him to deliver for me at Pendulum last year, and by God, did he deliver. He was absolutely fantastic, and we all know him. We all know how passionate and energetic he is. 
And finally, last but not least, Jerry Duffy, 32 marathons in 32 days, 10 Ironman in 10 days. And Jerry is just an incredible guy and is doing so much work in that leadership space now as well. So can't wait to hear from him as well. So just with regard to uh, the Pendulum Summit, if I have a cent for every time somebody asks me, what are you going to do now, Explorer, Frankie? Explorer, author, adventurer and filmmaker, that's Pat Falvey uh, was... Uh, that's a bit too early yet. <laughs> is that my hint to get off the stage? How are we going to get another Tony Robbins? No, uh, you know, Tony, apart from John D. Martini, of course, is, is probably the best in the world. So we figured maybe two of the next best would be as good as, as Tony, but we're not going to take any chances. And we're going to get five of the next best in the world to deliver a Pendulum 17. We've identified five key areas, business excellence, professional wealth uh, elevation, self-empowerment, leadership and teamwork, and interpersonal relationships. So before I introduce my speakers, uh, the earlier speakers, I'd just like to give you a small snapshot of what to expect.